Those Alaskan paratroopers are participating in Spartan Pegasus 2015, the largest U.S. airborne mission north of the Arctic Circle in more than a decade. I get goosebumps just watching that. To see more of what they're doing, head over to our YouTube channel. Hi, and welcome to I Soldier. I'm Sergeant Audrey Santana. The casing of the colors marks the end of Operation United Assistance for the 101st Airborne Division in Liberia. Major General Gary Valesky recognized the extraordinary circumstances in which his team was created and performed. While our large-scale military mission is ending as the 101st departs Liberia, the fight to get to zero Ebola cases will continue, and the JFC has ensured capabilities we brought will be sustained in the future. Let's head on over to Fort Carson, where Gail McCabe has been talking to some world-class athletes. Gail? Thanks. I'm at Fort Carson, home of the Army World Class Athlete Program, where the focus is on the Olympics of 2016. 46 soldier athletes are training hard, vying for a spot on the U.S. Olympic team headed for Brazil next September. Since the World Class Athlete Program was established in 1997, we've had 65 soldiers that have qualified to compete at the Olympic Games. It's a challenge to become the number one athlete in your sport, which will give you the opportunity to represent the United States at the Olympic Games. WCAP trains soldier athletes for the Olympics and the Paralympics. For iSoldier, I'm Gail McCabe. Thanks, Gail. For more information on WCAP, head over to their Facebook page. That does it for us. I'll see you next week on iSoldier.